I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is YouTube Red, for better or worse. Now first thing, I'm sorry everyone, but this video is going to be for content creators exclusively. I really do appreciate you coming out, but if you're not a creator, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. There's no need for a scene, I don't want to have any violence around here, let's all just be cool and click out of the video. And, and thank, thanks for coming out again, really do appreciate that. Are they gone? Oh, thank God. Hey guys, let's get comfortable. Ah. If you haven't already heard, YouTube Red is a new subscription service YouTube's rolling out this Wednesday, October 28th, where for the low, low cost of just $9.99 a month, any viewer can sign up and not see any advertisements on any video on YouTube on any platform for the month. Also, if you're a YouTube creator and you haven't already heard this, where the hell have you been? It's D-Day, the war is on! Grab a rifle and get out there, son! The question we're all asking ourselves right now is, what does this mean? How does this affect what I do on YouTube? And where's the revenue going to come from, if not the ads? And the best answers I can give you right now are, nobody knows, YouTube won't tell us, we're all fucked! And that is the truth. YouTube has gone well out of its way to make sure that you and I have no idea what's going on right now. In the past two days, in fact, the text on the FAQ page where it's asked, how will revenue be determined, has gone from simply by watch time to based on how much members watch your content. Which, yes, is an incredibly subtle difference in wording that seems to say the same thing. And for exactly that reason makes me wonder why they felt the need to change it. Why they suddenly don't want to use the word watch time. Nobody knows the full details of YouTube Red right now, except YouTube, and maybe the big player content providers that YouTube was forced to tell when they were negotiating the inception of Red. But here's what we think we know. Assuming YouTube does do what they say and take the usual 45% of the total $9.99 revenue from a subscription fee, that leaves $5.49 and half a penny for you, me, and everybody else on YouTube to split. The assumption we've made right now, based on all the information that we have, is that YouTube is going to take the remaining 549 and distribute those funds equally to each content creator based on how much time someone spends on their channel. Very simply, if a red subscriber spends 25% of their time on your channel, 25% of their time on my channel, and 50% of their time bouncing around YouTube looking at, you know, cats and videos that have thumbnails of mostly naked women on them, then you would get a quarter and I would get a quarter of the 549, which is a uh, buck 37 a piece. And you know, 275 goes to cats and naked ladies. Now, if you're wondering whether this model is gonna be good for you and your channel, that's a difficult question for me to answer without knowing your form and content, release schedule and that sort of things. But if all the animators and short form polished vignette creators could just plug their ears for a minute. Thanks guys. Yeah, it's gonna be real good. Real good. For you and me, oh my god, very, very good. Oh, hi, animators, vignette creators. Yeah, no, no, we're done. It's, you can come back. You guys are going to be f fine. You're going to be fine. <laughs> For comparison's sake, let's take a look at the way that you make money off of ad revenues right now. Warning, these numbers are going to be mean as in averages. Guesstimations, estimations, there's no way to have this conversation without them. I'm really sorry. Maths incoming. Brace for math pack. Oh God! Two. I'm going to assume that you're earning the average ad revenue for 2015, which is a $3 CPM. That's $3 per every thousand ad impressions served. And no, I don't know why it's called a CPM. I, it's dollars per thousand. That's DPT, not CPM. Nobody, no, it doesn't make any sense. You know what it is? It's cents per millibillion. $3 per thousand means you make slightly less than one third of one US copper penny per ad served. But wait, why be generous with these figures? We know that one click, one view does not result in one ad served. And by the way, if you're a content creator and you haven't enabled mid-roll ads, you need to start. Mid-rolls have an 80% completion rate, pre-rolls are like 65, uh, post-rolls, let's not even talk about them, they're bad. Even with multiple ads enabled, when I compare my view count to my income, I see just two thirds of all views actually turn into money. And I mean exactly two thirds, 67%, it's eerie. And whether it's people running ad blocker or viewers skipping ads or hell, you know, sometimes YouTube just doesn't serve an ad system hiccups and you don't get one. It's, hey, no big deal, YouTube, what do I care? I'm just making a third of a penny over here. If you need me, I'll be sunning myself out by the infinity pool. If only 67% of our views actually get monetized, then we need to stop telling ourselves that we make three tenths of a cent per ad and wake up to the cold hard truth that we make two tenths of a cent per view. 
I told you these numbers were going to be mean, as in averages. I'm going to present a best case scenario that presumes you post a video a day, 30 videos a month, which you probably don't because you don't make enough money off of YouTube to live, which means you work a day job, which means there's no way, mm -mm, not going to happen. You post 30 videos a month. Your viewer watches every single one of them. In the course of that month, your viewer will generate for you six cents in a month. Recording, editing, post-processing, making thumbnails, writing descriptions. I took 30 billion hours making this one and a couple more minutes because of that audio overdub. Six cents in a 30 video a month from a super fan is what you make in the ad system. Now let's turn that viewer into a YouTube Red subscriber. For you to earn the same six cents in a month that you'd have gotten from ad delivery, that YouTube Red subscriber only has to spend 1% of their time on your channel. 1%. At 11% of their time, which is a reasonable figure, I mean, it's, you know, if they're watching everything you do, people gotta poop and eat and stuff. That viewer has just given you 60 cents for the month, the equivalent of 10 dedicated viewers watching everything you do in a 30 video month where you're busting ass to get all that stuff out. Now listen, I don't wanna burst bubbles here. I'm trying to get you excited about this because I think it's a good thing. But we have to talk about what I call the Pootiplier. No, it's not the bastard love child of Pootipie and Markiplier and thank the good Lord above for small blessings. What it is, is the Pootipie Multiplier. Before I go further, I want to be 100% clear, this is entirely speculation. No, it isn't. There's no hard evidence to confirm this. Tons of evidence. And when you get right down to it, I'm just guessing it's a fact. The language in the partner program terms that we all signed at gunpoint leaves YouTube the option of calculating revenues either by watch time or view count. They don't have to go exclusively by watch time like we all think. On top of that, the same terms state that your channel's views and watch time for the month will be held against all or a subset of participating content at YouTube's discretion. And what that means is YouTube can do the math however they want to. The language here is so soft and gelatinous that they have no legally binding limitation whatsoever. They don't have to pay you an equal percent of equal revenue. They can instead stick your channel and all of your content into an undisclosed, unspecified subset. For example, the non-premium subset. And then they can put others, say PewDiePie, Disney, Sony Music Entertainment, into the premium subset. So instead of getting your percent of the whole, you get your percent of the subset. A little less than what you deserve so that PewDiePie can take a bonus percentage for being PewDiePie. People at the top with all the money and the power use their leverage to secure better deals for themselves than they've fairly earned by taking it out of the pockets of the small and the middle YouTube channel upon whose backs the entire system is built. Hey! Hey, I figured it out! It's just like life! And we're all going to get screwed for the first month because it's free to try. Click and sign up today and go adless for a month. And knowing YouTube, I don't think they're going to front us all a month's worth of revenues while everybody's test driving the new Buick. But regardless of these potential drawbacks and whether or not they're just in my ad, these numbers don't break. You can poot apply the hell out of that formula. It doesn't really make a difference. You think I'm off in a few places, go ahead, move it around to bump up the ad completion rate. You can do better than 67, that's me. I don't know what the hell I'm doing on YouTube. Doesn't matter. The difference is going to be pennies for ad revenue in comparison to quarters and dollars for YouTube Red. And to the animators and vignette creators who might get a little bit screwed by this, it really is just a little bit, if that at all. Just look at how much money you're making per ad right now and how small a fraction of someone's time it takes to equal that with YouTube Red. And let's be honest, ad revenues are here to stay, so it's not like you're not gonna be making ad money. But there's something else now. Something to water down the cold, hard, mostly futile attempt to make a living off of fractions of pennies. There's a way for viewers and subscribers to support the channels and creators they love in a financially meaningful way. And a way for small and middling YouTube channels who may not have hundreds of thousands or millions of subscribers, but who do have a community that is passionate and engaged to be able to pay their bills with their YouTube revenues instead of just the parking meters. But I'm getting sappy, let's bring this in. So to summarize, YouTube doesn't tell us anything, ads don't pay, PewDiePie is robbing you, and we're all gonna die. But most importantly, YouTube Red is a good thing, probably. 
And you should encourage your subscribers to sign up if they can and communicate to them that paying for red is not about turning off the ads. That's how YouTube is selling it right now. We need to change that message because that's a perk. It's an afterthought. The real deal here is about supporting content creators, supporting you, creating a system in which we're not all, you know, just trying to get somebody to click and watch a commercial. Here's to trying to make a living off of two tenths of a penny per view. I am the Rodin Born. <laughs> Ever clear? Out. YouTube Red goes live this Wednesday, October 28th. Make sure and sign up today to support your favorite YouTube content creators. And as a bonus, we'll turn the ads off for you. But that's not what it's about. It's about this, baby. It's about the love. About the, it's about the love. the love. I love you. For $9.99, you can love me back. That doesn't sound right. There are some days that look so bright. There are some lies that seem so dark. How could you walk against the 